Okay, um, we've just uh, got here a, uh, a quick proof of concept that um, I can, you, know, you can use a, a, a 2D physics library, in this case uh, Chipmunk Physics, which is a really good fit because it's also um, uh, a C library. Um, nice little physics library actually, well put together. Um, yeah, enough said about that I think really. Uh, yeah, people get what you see. Um, now uh, the bit behind the um, behind the scenes that's been added just recently is the fact that, uh, as you notice, uh, I'm not actually running X Windows. It doesn't rely on uh, X Windows. The X Windows code is still in there, which you can turn on with a, uh, um, a make file switch if you want. Yeah. On the graphics side of things, we've added um, a very rudimentary uh, particle. Um, well, I hesitate to call it an engine. <laughs> uh, particle routine, shall we say. Um, like I say, very rudimentary just at the moment. Uh, it's um, uh, point, point sprites, um, uh, so nice and uh, fast, or it should be. Um, but the um, uh, basic idea is that I'm going to make it um, a, a lot more sort of uh, flexible so you can be doing other things other than just. Uh, purely um, uh, explosions, but uh, even with only just a, f uh, a few, uh, I think it's only something like 20 uh, particles. Um, it's it's enough to give a you know a reasonable sort of explosion effect without uh, uh, messing around too much with um, uh, the graphics or anything. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, yes. Um, I think that's about it. Like I say, a lot. I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good one.